Hello guys, welcome to my second video of object oriented programming and in this video I will going to explain about what is object, what is class and what is real world object and comparing it with software object in object oriented programming. So without wasting any further time, I will start the video. So what is written here? It is object. What is object? So object basically you all know what is object, anything our surroundings, everything is object living humans pen, pencil, table, chair, TV, laptop, etc. These all are object. So object oriented programming is compared with real world and this object is not similar with that. Every object has some characteristics and behavior. So in object oriented programming characteristics is compared to data and behavior is compared to functions. So it is written here. See it is a unique entity that contain data and function. Data is compared to characteristics and function is compared to behavior together in an object oriented programming. So what I have told in that video, I will explain what further about this that object object oriented programming is of object only a program is divided into number of objects. So it makes a complex problem into simpler problem. So like this, he has given here real world examples, chair, table, pen, doll, etc. These those objects which are visible for us known as real world object, real world object feeder. It is visible. It can be defined and described easily. It can be put in thought and action. So we can see, we can touch it. We can feel it. It can be defined as described and easily. So can we can define what is pen, how it is made. It has, it is blue or black. It can be put into thought and action. We can feature that thought means we can write by pen. We can write, we can play with doll. We can keep books on table and chair. So let's move to further. What is object and class? I will explain another. So this here it is given categories of object. So there are different categories of object here real world. These objects can be divided into one of the following categories tangible objects. So which can be touched, we can feel, we can see that are tangible object. Chair computer table. Now come to software in that particular topic. Come into software conceptual object. We are making a concept. We are not, we cannot see, we cannot touch, but these are basically are intangible object. These are intangible object in exist conceptual entity. You may or may not be able to see them, but you can test them, but you cannot test them. Sorry. Example, an email or bank account. So an email, it is made up of softwares. We can, we cannot, we can, we cannot see the inside structures of email, but we can read what is email and we can take when we go to bank on we can take money or insert or deposit any money we cannot see what the function are going inside the back out on email so what this is called concept they are building a concept of email or bank account by we can easily feature our function roles roles played by people such as student a teacher or clerk so we play a role a clerk a teacher a teacher describes a topic a student writes or complete hit notes give exam so we are the role we are the role players we play the role on these object we use that object as our function events an event is something occurring in a system or an organization a sale or purchase in one store so event event organizers there are many event or they are organizing event like wedding marriages function or some uh, some engagement ceremonies or something etc etc so event manager so if something happens that is called event by example here saying a sale a sale in one store we going to some purchase we give money that are called event and event occurred at that particular destination so what in the when we go to bank account we take out money with that there event occurs and that bank account is an object conceptual object so let's move to another slide so what it comes here an important topic what is class we are when we go to programming that we have to create class. So we have to learn what is class. They are, these are the basics. A class is a blueprint for multiple objects with similar features. So what is class? Mainly a class with similar features. Like example, take our school. We have many classes. And what are in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, like this, all classes are divided in first class, same age, second class, same age. All ages are same. They not differ from each other. So meaning is what that a class is a blueprint from multiple objects. There are multiple objects with similar features. 
main example of vehicle vehicle there are different kind of vehicles truck bicycle sorry bicycle not truck car these all are in that same class only of vehicle but they have similar we put gear we put gear in also in truck and car and we drive by we drive also in car and bike they have gears they both have gears so this is the example of a class it is called object why it is called object factory it is a very interesting question what is object why it is called object factory so it will be it has asked in that also in icc examination 2009 a class is an called an object factory because objects are created from that class that contain common attributes and behavior the class behaves like a specification for creating such similar object so that contains similar data and functions and attributes that have spent attributes and behavior they perform simply like a told example of vehicle many object can be created one class is one class is created so in one class when we create one class we can create as many object we can want a vehicle is defined we have gears in that vehicle we have gears accelerator brake we can create some other car also we can create many cars of that particular of any company like audi bmw maruti suzuki these are all the creating cars on the similar pattern of that vehicle class a class is a group of object with same attributes so what is explained here again a class is a group of object with same attribute a class cannot be differ every object have to perform that same function only an object belonging to a particular class is known as instance of that class so an object when we create an object which is created from that particular class blueprint that class that class that or that that object is belonging to that class and that object is called instance of that class particular class so remember that is important point we'll move to another slide real world object and software object mapping so it is important because we have comparing now what i have told we have complete our that real world object and software object we have to compare relate our let's us relate our real world object with software object the states or characteristics of a real world object are considered to be a data members in software object. so what what are the characteristics of real world object that are considered as oops are data members they are the data members in same with the behavior in a real world object are considered the function so the behavior they perform they are considered in oops are functions or method and i data members in coming upcoming chapters they are integer double string these are the data members so real world object examples this is important book book has characteristic chap chapters pages and topics is used to read used to prepare notes so now we have to compare it with software object student student what we are data members student what is the name of student what is the class of student what is the marks of student and what it behavior is apex data sorry accept data display i in other slide it is more briefly described so here attributes member or instance variable so compare that real world attribute with another name in oops member or instance variables behaviors member methods or member function state value of variables value example we have taken an integer type data so data member so we put the value of that 4 so we are containing int a is equal to 4 so that a has the value of integer value 4 example table so table here i have considered example as table member variable lex it has lex its member method is lex So how many lex is as that we have state defined as state. This four is state value of variables. Lex is four. That is value. Member methods keep books. So member method what is the function keep books? It is keeping books. We have defined as a function. And this what is that function? By bracket it is represented as function. When we use in programming we use as void main function. So I hope you understand what is object, what is class. and up uh, keeps watching my videos and please subscribe my channel thanks for watching